Real people discuss family, social issues, violence, love, and hate, all while cooking. That is the premise for the new theater production at Choya High Magnet School. Called the uh, Arab Israeli Cookbook, theater director Julian Martinez, along with three student actors, Genevieve Boot. Boutte, <laughs> Louis uh, Liera, and Martin Valdez join us this morning. Thank you so much for coming. Of course. Thanks a lot for having us. We're all really excited to be here. <laughs> so do you put on uh, a theater production every year? Uh, we do. We're actually going to uh, focus on maybe doing two per year. Uh, but this is my official second year as, as Choya High Drama Department teacher and director. So our first production, we wanted to kind of make a big splash with it. So this is Arab Israeli Cookbook. And can, oh, can you tell us a little bit about the premise of this story? Yeah, of course. Uh, the uh, the play is actually it's a verbatim play, so it's based on real life interviews, and uh, they interview people from the Israeli side and the Palestinian side, and they bring their food along with them, and the actors actually get to cook the food on stage mm -hmm. while we work. So it's a, it's a really cool piece. Yeah. And who do you each play? I play my my character's name is Nadia. Um, she's like an older, like an older, like an older woman. She's really, she's really nice. I actually get to cook on stage. Yeah. Uh, I get to make stuffed zucchini and stuffed vine leaves. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, are you a cook by nature or uh. no? <laughs> like I'm a microwave kind of girl. Yeah, my mom's trying to get me to cook. Yeah, exactly. And so who do you play? I have four characters. I play as Fadi, uh, the assistant, Tim, and Alan. Oh, you have a lot of different people that you play. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody does. Everyone has a few different characters. Okay. That they play as. That's kind of hard. That's like a Tyler Perry or Eddie Murphy kind of thing. You play several <laughs> characters. Oh, yeah, characters. you play. Yeah, just <laughs> that quick changes in the back, yeah. change a hat, come on stage. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then who, do, who are the characters you play? Well, I play Mordecai. He owns a falafel shop, and that's pretty much like my main character. And he's my assistant. Okay. Uh, and I don't, really, I don't really get to cook on stage. He does all the cooking for me <laughs> from the falafel shop, so I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> okay, you say falafels and my mouth is watering. I know, that's what I was like. <laughs> I was like, sorry, I didn't hear anything you said. I just heard falafel. <laughs> I would think that acting is pretty difficult in itself. I mean, you kind of have to become that character, memorize those lines, and there's probably a little bit of improv going on. Um, but then you're also cooking, which is another distraction. So how do you handle those two things? Oh, uh, it's a bit of a challenge, but you get used to it. It's kind of, I think it's kind of normal. I, I yeah. Still, <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. like, wait, I got it. Like, <laughs> like when you're blocking, you're like, okay, yeah, well, I want totally. you to flip here. And well, part of, part of the, you know, um, in addition to like memorizing lines and getting character down, we also did a lot of table work. So a lot of the research that they got from it, they, we learned a lot about, you know, either about the conflict and stuff. But uh, in addition, we also are doing a lot of cooking, which is more time for them to spend with me, you know, trying to learn how to cook. Yeah. And I have to learn how to cook too <laughs> while we do it. So. And it's, it's, it's not easy. We always bring on our lines and we're able to kind of set them up so then they can cook while they do it. It's kind of like a cooking show, like a cooking segment. Now, on so. top of the fact that you're acting, you're cooking, the subject matter is, is also kind of, kind of heavy, uh, yeah. you know, and you're kind of bringing a different aspect. How did you guys feel about, uh, you know, what you're talking about and the combining of cultures? Well, um, basically, like, it's basically trying to break down that barrier of, like, hate that, uh, and the stereotypes that everybody has towards... Uh, people in the Middle East and um, it's more like a, a cultural thing and um, how some of the foods a lot of the foods are similar in both cultures so like trying to bring them together is our goal and and some like not to many people because many people are like but to some, like, try to break down those barriers yeah. of stereotypes and all that. And Choi is also, we're, we're an inter international baccalaureate school, so this, this show is kind of like the thing we had to do. You know, we're, we're an internationally minded school. We have a, uh, an Arabic studies department as well, so, which is Martina is a part of the Arabic mm -hmm. studies department. And uh, the teacher from that is also helping us out with, like, pronunciations and things. Mm -hmm. and we have um, volunteers from, uh, from, uh, from the, the Jewish Community Center. We have a volunteer and stuff. So it's, it's, we're getting well, you know, we're getting yeah. a lot of information for it. So. Well, this yeah. sounds like you guys have put a lot of hard work and practice and uh, cooking skills. Yeah. Into it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we want everyone to come out and, of course, uh, see the production. The Choya High Magnet School production of Arab Israeli Cookbook starts with a preview performance on November 6th. That's at 7 p.m. and runs on the dates that you see on your screen right now. And for more information, you can call 225-4161 or visit the school website also displayed on your screen right now. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thanks a lot for the opportunity.